such a cruel love. It was another Saturday morning. Christine woke up early as usual, the clock read seven o'clock. After stretching and rubbing her eyes, she stretched a little more in the warm bed and got up. She lived on the first floor, and every morning when she went to the window, she saw a sign on the pavement that said, I love you. Christina knew it was written to the girl who lived downstairs, and she felt sad. Even though she was missing a man's arms right now, she felt that her only one was somewhere near. The kettle was boiling in the kitchen. Having prepared coffee, she sat down at the table, breathed in the smell of the hot drink and thought about her own thoughts. The calm flow of this beautiful morning was broken by the ringing of the doorbell. Christina opened it and saw a young man in a gas man's uniform. Who are you here to see? The girl asked. The guy looked at the girl from head to toe. She was tall, slim, in a short dressing gown. But meeting her gaze, he answered. Well, the neighbors said that from your flat smelled gas. Can I come in and check it out? Hmm, what a fast learner. Christine replied in surprise. Well, come in, check it out. The door closed. The guy went into the kitchen, checked the gas. Everything is normal, a false alarm, so, he said, heading for the exit. Ola was so tired of waking up alone that she decided to try to build her own happiness. Do you want coffee? Smiling, the girl replied. I won't refuse, the guy answered, my name is Maxim by the way, you can just call me Max. That's how their first acquaintance happened. The romance spun very quickly. Flowers, gifts and theaters drove her crazy. She drowned in his eyes, not noticing other men. Over time, the relationship began to heat up. Maxim was jealous of his girlfriend to everyone, to girlfriends, to friends. His jealousy has no limits, she told her best friend. Sometimes I am even afraid of him. I feel like he's about to hit me. His eyes become frantic, like he's about to wail, Christina laughed. And I told you he's not the right guy for you. You've been dating for a year, so what? Is there going to be a sequel or not? It looks like he's not going to propose to you. But Christine only sighed heavily, realizing that her friend was right. In the evening, they turned on a film and hugged each other to watch. A phone call interrupted the film. Maxim picked up the phone. He listened to something for a long time, clenching his fists. Suddenly, he walked angrily over to Christina, grabbed her by the hair and started shouting. How could you? Followed by a punch to the face. I do everything for you, and you? The girl covered her face with her hands. Not understanding anything, she shouted. Are you crazy? What did I do to you? What did they tell you? They told me you cheated on me. Yesterday. Maxim started shouting louder and louder as he continued hitting her in the face. What are you doing? Are you crazy? I stayed at home for a week. The crying girl could only reply. Suddenly he calmed down, thought for a moment and whispered. That's right, you were at home with me all day yesterday. Realizing what he had done, he looked at Christine. Her face was covered in blood. She was lying on the floor crying. He sat down on his knees, put his arms around her. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I don't know what came over me. He began to whisper. You hit me, she whispered, you hit me. Pushing him away, she closed herself in the bathroom. Switching on the water, she began to cry crying so loudly that it was heard even in the far room. Maxim was only smoking nervously in the kitchen. His hands were trembling, cigarettes were going out one after another, and Christina still didn't come out. Twenty minutes later he heard her doing something in the room. When he came in, he saw Christina packing her things into a bag. I'm not going to live with you anymore. No one has ever hit me before, and I won't let you, she shouted wiping away her tears. She was about to leave when Maxim blocked her way. You're the smart one, aren't you? Who's going to let you go? 
he shouted louder and louder. Christina backed up and was about to scream when suddenly Maxim hit her in the face again. From the sudden and strong blow Christina could not keep her feet and fell, hitting her head against the wall. Her eyes went black for a few seconds. She wanted to grab the nightstand, but she couldn't. Paper, keys and other small things fell from the nightstand and Christine lost consciousness. After a while she could hardly open her eyes. Her head hurt very badly. A man in a white dressing gown was standing next to her, and behind him she recognized the features of her friend's face. Where am I? the girl said with difficulty, wrapping her arms around her head. You are in the hospital, the doctor answered, now your friend will tell you everything. The doctor left them alone and disappeared behind the door. Christine, you may not forgive me, but... Your Maxim was taken to the police. If I hadn't come to you at that moment, he might have killed you. At the door, I heard you screaming and then you stopped talking. I was so scared, I called the police. And that's how you ended up here. Thank you. She barely audibly said. I thought I'd never open my eyes again. Why did he do that to me? I never cheated on him, I just loved him. She cried. Her friend only looked at her in silence. Poor Christina, she thought. Pale face, with bruises. And after all, she just wanted to be happy. And now what? I don't think she'll let anyone near her now. Nothing, everything will be fine. Her friend consoled Christina aloud. And Maxim? What about Maxim, let him answer according to the law? You're beautiful, she smiled. Christine's face shone with a faint smile in return. She sighed heavily and answered her friend. You know, I feel safe now for the first time in this terrible year. And let's not talk about sad things anymore and try to forget about it like a bad dream. The friends smiled at each other, happy for the happy ending of this cruel love. It was good that this story eventually ended happily, unlike many similar cases. Thanks to the persistence of her friend, the police gave the case a go and, although with great resistance, brought it to court. Maxim received a suspended sentence and he was forbidden to communicate with Christina. The girl's wounds had long since healed, her bruises were gone, and her former beauty had returned. But despite her smile, there was a faint trace of sadness or fear in her eyes. But I'm sure that too will pass. Christina has learned to love herself and to choose her boyfriends, and now she has been dating a young man who is calm and truly loves her for two years and at the end of the summer they are going to get married. She and her future husband are very happy. And we are there for them too.